Springtime. Springtime is significant for many reasons, but for chefs, it's asparagus season. And today we have some beautiful local white asparagus. We have some wild thyme and borage that I foraged for this morning. We're going to make a really simple lemon emulsion sauce. A little bit of caviar, but the star of the dish is the white asparagus. So the first step is to clean our asparagus. Take off a few centimeters or an inch from the bottom, that's too tough to use. Then take your paring knife and roll it with the asparagus along the cutting board until you get a straight line all around. Then use this as a guide to peel the skin off. Your asparagus should look like this. It's important to remove the skin on the bottom half because it can be bitter. So today we're going to make a carpaccio. We don't want to cook these all the way. Cooking these about halfway. So the outside is soft, the inside is still a bit crunchy. Tell with this cake tester I'm using. You could actually serve this raw if you wanted. Just slice it a bit thinner. But today I'm going to go about a millimeter or two or about an eighth of an inch. So now we're going to start the sauce. I have the juice of about half a lemon, a tiny bit of water, and I'm going to whisk in some butter. So you want to make sure the butter is completely emulsified. It should look just like this. And when the sauce cools down, it will thicken up. So keep that in mind. So now we're going to put our caviar. So for this dish, the caviar actually is quite uh, salty. Not too salty. But you want to keep that in mind when you're seasoning your sauce and your asparagus. In this case, the caviar will season everything for you. So use a little bit of salt and everything else, but not as much as without the caviar. Okay, now we're going to add our slivers of white asparagus. The next part looks a bit monotonous, but it will be over in a few minutes. Line the asparagus up nice and neat, have them going in different directions. And once you're confident you have a nice pattern, remove the mold for the caviar. So because it's spring, we have a lot of wild herbs growing around here. So I have some wild thyme, it's flowering. The flowers don't just look nice, they're actually quite potent. They're very small, but each bite has a strong thyme flavor. Also this year, I was lucky enough to find wild borage. They're amazing, they taste like fresh oysters. If you don't have access to some of these ingredients, no worries, all you need is asparagus, lemon, butter, maybe salt, that's it. And maybe try and put your own twist on it. This may look intimidating, but it's so simple. Anyone could make it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.